Okay, a few things about Tinkercad, how to uh, open up your items, work on it, uh, save it as an STL file or export it, and then you have to put it in your slicer to print it, and how to save. So here we go, you click on your uh, item that you want to tinker. This is the one I want to work on. Click tinker this. Here's the item. You can look at it. Uh, this is for a light. So you can actually uh, change the color, any color you want. Um, also, if you want, you can drag in an item here. Because uh, what I'm doing is making a hole for a light so if you want to make a hole for a light you have your two items there and you click on this item put click hole and then when you save it you'll have a hole in the item that you want and you can look at it if it goes all the way through so what you do now is you select both and then up here there are shapes so you group the shapes and then when you're done that you'll see that the hole is done so now you did that now you want to change the name so you can go to light template uh, version 1 yeah, so that changes the name and when you want to save the new design you just click on the Tinkercad logo and you'll see down here that it's saving your work and then there's your new design and click on the page now in order to export it you can go to export STL file then it'll be ready to print if you go to your downloads okay so you have a uh, item that you want to print so here's your uh, 3d file you can press control and uh, mouse and you can look at your item. The next thing you want to do for printing is go to export, click uh, the STL file, then it will show up in your uh, downloads. So you go to the downloads and click your item it will automatically open up uh, for me I'm using a Solval uh, Cura slicer okay the item is opened up in Cura so you can look at it here the next thing you want to do is what I use is um, the profile I use 0.2 millimeter draft under infill I use the zigzag and for this part I don't need any brim or support so I don't need to do any of that now I hit uh, slice it will slice the uh, part for printing now you can preview it by hitting preview here so you can press the positive and negative to zoom in and then you can grab this little art, uh, slider here and you can slide it down and you can see if it's going to print okay and uh, it looks like it's okay there's a bit of a gap in here but uh, I'll fix that 
So the other thing is you can move your arrows and you can rotate the item. There is a gap there. So I will fix that. And anyway, then you hit save to file. And it will save it as a let's go so click save. To, it'll save it as a uh, G code. So you hit save. And then now you can use the SD card in your 3D printer and it will print the project for you. Hope that helps.